up to get ready to go down to the unit and hopefully hang those doors today but I did wait in a little bit longer this morning not only because me and Gemma are sharing the car today because she's opening up the pub but I also had to wait for a delivery now I'm trialing some merchandise which will hopefully help out the channel so tell me what you think Ta -da! <laughs> so we've got a baseball cap with Harry Brew 69 on the front now I've only got these printed at the minute <clears throat> so they're relatively cheap under the £10 mark I think and same with the t-shirt we've got old Harry Brew 69 on the t-shirt again just printed but I thought I'd try it just to see what the fit's like and what the baseball cap's like and they're actually pretty good so it might not be coming out this week or next week but we're going to have a run with it I think I'll play with some more designs and build a little shop and see if we can't Move some merch. Yay, we get to go to work together. It's amazing. Only for two, like, five minute journey. That's enough for you, isn't it? It is. Right, we've arrived, folks. Bit of a late start this morning, because I had to wait in for the delivery man for the Harry Brew 69 hat. Don't want to bang on about it, you know. I'll just mention it on every clip. So one of the jobs today is to fill the timber storage rack with timber and then once we've done that we'll be able to move down here and finally get the doors hung up on the little alcove section there. And don't worry Greg, I saw your comment yesterday, I think that wall's going to be fine. You can see this one at the front's got an RSJ in there. So we're not going to have any dramatic collapses on us and I may as well show you if I'm going in this way. What I've also done on the inside, this is one of the supporting pillars for the upper floor, uh, po supporting beams I should say, and I've built a pillar there which is now load bearing, uh, so all that weight, because the, the timber had rotted slightly on the end, all that weight is sat on that pillar now. So we should be good. Did you hear that creaking? <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't want the ceiling to fall down on my... Uh, Harry Brew 69 baseball cap, available soon. Don't want to bang on about it. Hey, I've just had a letter, folks. Are you ready for a good laugh? Right, electric bill. For this unit, uh, we're not even open as a business yet. We're refurbing, as you can tell. I've got a total of one, two, three, four, ten lights, and they're all LED, right? So ten lights in this unit from October, LED, this is how much money they want for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, really. Come on. Empower. Get your shit together, folks. So they've got an estimated start reading for the day reading of 25289. Well, the actual meter reading now is 25057, which is lower than what their start reading is. And their 2nd of January estimate is 31705. So they've got me down as using 6,416 kilowatt hours. And then 7,177 kilowatt hours on the night reading. <laughs> they haven't got a clue, have they? So I'm just about to disappoint them, because looking at this, uh, my start reading is lower than their estimated start reading. Will they owe me money? I hope so. There's a quick rundown folks if you want to pause the video and just have a look at how daft that is. My re readings are written in pencil above. Let's give them a call. Well, gobsmack take the word. I rang them up, spoke to an Irish chap called Simon, I think. Couldn't understand his accent. And uh, they said cancel the direct debit at the bank or put an indemnity and stop it going out. I gave him the meter reading. He said we'll sort it out and send out a new bill. Well, high five and power. That was simple. But I am cancelling that direct debit. You do know that, right? Oh. So this is the fridge freezer from Chloe, my niece's house. I'm wearing her boyfriend, Liam. Stuart picked it up last week and after some thought, I've realised that the kitchen area has got to go here because the sewer 
intake or the drain outlet is just behind you. So this section is going to have to house the sink and wash area. The timber uh, storage rack is now in place. We have the doors there ready to go on to this uh, hole in the wall. I suppose there's no other, there's no better way to describe it. And at the minute, not all of the timber fits into the rack, but obviously that's going to change because some of this timber is going to be used for carcassing, of course, for the doors behind us. Gemma's just been and picked up the dog. She's gone to get the kids. Chances are I'm going to be stranded here till six o'clock. So I guess I'd better just uh, crack on with these doors. Making sure not to get any dust on the Haribo 69, huh? Don't want to bang on about it. loves it and singing and dancing along with the song is an essential part of Friday tea time. No! Sean, we're in Birmingham, my four year old man, and Lily you? is poor. Double reason for playing it. Yeah, that's for my children. Marcus and Lily says Karen Summers. Not we DIY and build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Out of wood. It's that's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know, you're getting there. It's just looking good. Right, yeah, so yeah. then you, you rack and all for you. Yeah, it's all coming up, mate. Yeah. So Slowly. I've, I've watched them all now. Oh, right. I think I have. And I've even one day I saw an Audi ad and I thought, well, I'll, I'll actually watch it even though I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's very generous. <laughs> I thought, I've seen this ad on a few, few YouTube videos, but just because it's Harry, I'll watch it. So it gets <laughs> like 2p as whatever it is. You know, oh, it's not be that much, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or at point zero zero. Yeah, it's all point. Zero five. Nice. I was wondering how you're going to do this. That's a little far back, actually. Yeah, I was thinking how you were going to do that. Yeah, because it's a mess. So, all the, yeah, the pillar, the archway, if you like. Yeah, because when you say you've got the doors, I was thinking, how is he actually going to do the... Yeah, so I've, I, it. I had them scaffolded there with the old tables out of the pub. Yeah, all right, yeah. You know, the tops. Yeah, with that weird, weird varnish. Yeah. Like that, yeah. And then uh, I just thought I'd use that to buffer them out, because this no brickwork until the edge of that, so there'd be nothing for the bottom to grab hold of. No. So I put that on, and then another one, and even though it's all over the place, at least I can do it for now, to keep me warm, and then at some time, at some point in the future, I'll take that bar out, and I'll put a proper lintel in. Yeah, yeah. And then once I've got a proper lintel in all the way across, I might cut that brickwork straight, and then just put some bricks in here, instead and get rid of this timber. But for now, it's fucking freezing in here. I'm going to say, so you aim to be warm, 
by the time you've done it, it'll be summer, so you'll have to worry about <laughs> it. By the time you've insulated it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna. I mean, it's solid. Oh, yeah, but it's, it's just. Off, isn't it? If I can build a brickwork out to here, you see, is that what the plan is? Yeah, and then cut this up. I might even get some different doors by then, it just depends what Dave's ripped out. Yeah, These sure. came out of a flat up there. This one and that brown one from uh, Dave, I have to just skip. Uh, that was Dan who just popped in, it was nice to see him. Uh, we both agreed that that was a dustier exercise than I perhaps predicted it was going to be. But we've got the doors on, as you can see. We're just fannying around now with the, uh, the top beam here and some other bits and bobs to get it nice and square. The doors obviously aren't the same size so they don't fit perfectly but I'm just going to box it out with little bits of timber such as this to make it all fit nicely. And uh, also, I've got something I want to show you. So, I had a cheap uh, forged spanner, 10mm spanner, going spare, and I chopped the end up. You see that? Pop it in front of my face, it might focus on it. There we go, look at that. So, this little spanner is designed to really piss Stuart off. I'll show you why. I've been in your bottle stock again, buddy. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, now that, my friend, is a beer. Oh, well there's a good advert for my uh, bottle opener. <laughs> Cheers, bud. So we've got that top piece of timber on to form the closure. Now look, does that look straight to you? It totally doesn't, does it? But check this out. I mean, it totally is. Now granted, it's not the prettiest of doors. I'll give you that. But it's functional, it's free, and it's finished. Well, uh, maybe not. We've still got a hole in the top to sort out. Anyway, the plan is this door is going to be reglazed with clear glass in the centre so I can see who is on the other side. And then the whole thing painted in the same colour. You won't know the difference. And then if we go to the other side, all it needs is a bit of cladding, timber cladding around the edge to square it all up and a bit of filler foam, but rough and ready will do the trick. Rough and ready will do the trick. Just noticed a massive hole up there that probably needs filling in. Well, it's 10 to eight and I've got to wait for Gemma to come and pick me up. I've got a bit of a fire going in the back to burn some spare, some scrap timber. And while I'm here waiting, I just picked this piece of wood up out of the scrap uh, and I've run it through the bandsaw to basically chop this rebate out, so that's the scrap. And the plan is, I'm going to use it to store the uh, the clamps that I bought. So we can just drop them on like that, screw it down, and we can clamp all the clamps on there. And then I've cut the rebate out at the back, so I can drill through, and I'm going to mount it on the wall somewhere. So I'll just grab the SDS and we'll stick her up. Well, it's a little bit late. Turns out I'm not gonna use the SDS. But I have found somewhere where they can go. So 
So I'm just putting some 5x60mm screws into the pilot holes that I've just drilled. Yep. And that should fit. Nicely. Just up here. Underneath my tool storage. 80mm. 80mm. Perfect. Right. Let's have a look how they look. I think I can live with that, folks. I can't see the writing on my spanners, though. Unless I do that, and that's good enough for me. Well, I'm still waiting on Gemma to come down in the car to collect me. And if I don't get the opportunity, folks, then we'll see you tomorrow. So it looks like the gang made it. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Shall we go home then? Yeah. You sure?